Razzolite is one of the leading manufacturers of wrestling mats in the United States and has been located in this spot along Route 11 in Northumberland since 1963. Founder Warren Tischler took a prototype for a foam mat and developed what is called the Classic Mat, which revolutionized the wrestling mat industry. From the Classic Mat, which is still the most popular mat in wrestling rooms today, almost all of the top, well, all of the top 25 wrestling programs, uh, collegiate wrestling programs like Penn State, Ohio State, Iowa, um, they, they all wrestle on classic mats, all Resolite classic mats in the wrestling rooms. Um, then in, I would say, early 2000, lightweight mats came out, um, which are a little different construction. Uh, they're, they're a lot lighter. They're not quite as comfortable to wrestle on, but they're easy to set up and tear down. So a lot of schools use those for competition now. Um, so we went from the, the classic mat, now we offer a lightweight mat, and then Resolite has come up with a new connecting system for the lightweight mats, which we have our zip mats. Um, most wrestling mats up until the zip mat were taped together. Uh, with a zip mat, you don't have to use mat tape. Um, it just zips together like a, a, Ziploc, a Ziploc bag. And then our most recent innovation is our digiprint mats. So we can, we can print anything onto the surface of a mat. It, it's really spectacular. 70 employees now work here making the classic and lightweight mats, along with 350 types of gymnastics and cheerleading products, and even the emerging market of Ninja Warrior practice products. It takes crews of six to eight employees working on each phase of the process, about three days to make a mat, Resolite is the supplier of mats for the PIAA State Wrestling Championship, as well as all three divisions of the NCAA Wrestling Championship. Brent Kessler got his first magic set when he was six or seven and reached that point when he had to decide between college or making a career out of it. He chose a career and now does about 20 to 25 events a month, including at restaurants like Old Forge in Danville and at Bucknell University. So you've you've kids, right, Chris? Absolutely. Yeah. I have a I have a four year old now, and, and I'm just curious. I didn't know if this was a magician thing or a parent thing, but does your does your kid do this to your wallet? Because my wallet just seems to be constantly burning a hole in it. Does this happen at home a lot? Not too often. No. no. <laughs> Brent told us that when he was younger, no, he worked to be yeah, technically perfect no, in his close up and stand up acts. But as he has matured, he's realized it's more about the performance and connection with his audience. You can see more of Resolite and Brent. Frank Kessler when you tune into In Your Neighborhood on Wednesday night at 6.30 and 9.30 right here on SCCV8 exclusively on Service Electric Cable Vision.